Welcome to the Serapium, burned down by a Christian mob in 391 AD. The Serapium was a temple to the Roman Egyptian god Serapis, as well as a daughter library to the museum. There are many distinguished people in and around the library when it fell. We have tracked down several people involved in this event through various means, including seances and time travel, to speak about their experiences and opinions about the burning of the Serapion, one of them being none other than Hypatia of Alexandria. Another is the church bishop, Theophilus of Alexandria, who ordered the attack. Hypatia's friend, Ortes of Alexandria, who watched from the street, as well as her father, Theon of Alexandria, who was with her in the library when it was attacked, will also speak. And then we will close with Hypatia again. Enjoy. How dare they, those fools? They try to destroy us, our knowledge, our power. Father warned me. He said that the day would come. But I never believed that anyone could be so desperate as to resort to this kind of atrocity. The events play through my mind like images caught in a whirlwind. Spinning around endlessly, I see the mob of Christian fanatics approaching, shouting, screaming. At first I can't make it out, but as they grow closer and their shouts grow louder, I hear the mob chanting over and over again, pagans, demons, sacrilegious filth. Today a terrible but necessary deed was done. A blow has been dealt to those whose backs are turned to the Holy One, those who ignore his generosity, his purity. We have taken down the place where the evil deeds are done, the place where lies are told and the Holy One ignored. How could they be so arrogant to deny the existence of our Creator and Savior? Today, as part of the law passed by I, the Serapium was destroyed, as not only to erase the worship place of the false deity created by Egyptian trickery under the name of Serapis, but also the place of witchcraft and lies disguised as knowledge and learning. My followers, those who have seen the truth and who understand what must be done, they came with flames of purity to cleanse this place of evil. Together, as an unstoppable force, they came united as to purify this sacrilegious place. This is but one step, the first of many, for until the last of these so-called libraries are destroyed, until these, the museum lies in ruins on the ground, until the spots on where they once stood are purified of evil, until we may begin to rebuild on those same spots, I shall not rest. I watched in horror as the mob grew closer, closer to a place of knowledge and learning that was not to see a new light in the next day, a place where I knew my dear Hypatia was. I called out, but no one heard. I panicked, frozen, unsure of what to do. I don't remember what happened. My instinct must have took over for the next thing I knew I was down on the street. I could see the smoke coming from where the temple stood. I ran, ran with all the strength I had left. I was too late. By the time I arrived, I could see the notable philosophers and distinguished scientists of Alexandria running out the back exit. Covered in soot, they ran defeated, to leave their place of knowledge and learning to burn under the evening sun. I looked for my friend among them. I spotted her near the back, helping her beloved father, as well as carrying out the most valuable scrolls in her arms. Barefooted, she and her father followed the other scientists and philosophers into the crowd, where I lost sight of them. Hypatia and I begin to gather the most important scrolls to save what we can. But then the flames, the heat, the sharp pain of broken pottery scraping against my body, the blood of a rich red color flowing out. We must flee. No time to save my work. No time to make sure everyone else is out. Hypatia! Hypatia, I call her name. The world seems to be slowing, warping. I can hear her response. Father, she cries. I feel her skin against mine. She helps me up. I try to walk on my own, but begin to wobble. She drops the scroll she carried in her left hand. I reach down, try to pick them up. But she puts an arm around my shoulder, supporting me, lifting me up. Almost everyone else is out now. We follow behind, leaving so much knowledge to burn in the flames that engulf. But it is only one. The great museum shall remain. For as long as I walk this earth, I'll protect it with my life. But not here, not now. I must save my strength for the battles yet to come, where the stakes shall be greater. We must flee, out the door and into the streets, running into the crowd of other survivors. Together we walk to the museum, and together we hope it shall still remain. I can feel my father's blood on my gown as we walk, together. I can feel the anger of those around me, all their life's work burning in the flames. I turn back and watch as the structure crumbles, crashing to the ground. I continue to walk and pray that the same fate is not awaiting my true home, 
the greatest library in the entire world, the museum.